no surprise that her car is bust up like that. If you, I'm not saying everybody, but with this woman specifically, look at the car. You'll know the person. That's all I got to say. I'm almost ready. Dylan got out of prison yesterday and last night was our first night together, but trying to have sex the first time in the house with Aunt Diane to just try to be quiet enough that she doesn't hear is like, <laughs> Yeah, so what did you expect? I'm confused. <laughs> I think it was just the environment, the atmosphere. He felt kind of distant. No, it's not the atmosphere or the environment. It's you, baby girl. It is you. Luckily for me, things have calmed down for the It's great to see them smile. But will it last? <laughs> Let's find out. Better. For the first time in five years. The fact that that tattoo with his name is just like, hello, it's just, it's ridiculous. Anytime you look at this girl, you will see his ta his name tattooed on her body somewhere. And it's it's so crazy and it's so wild because she doesn't seem to have a lot of, to have a lot of tattoos anywhere else. So the fact that she literally went and did this just to have his name on her body five times in five different languages, it's wild to me. Heather and I had sex. If crazy translates into good sex, yes, the sex with Heather was good. Run. As part of your parole, you need to get a social security card, you need to get an ID. But Heather took a long time to get ready in the morning. And is still getting ready in the car with the clip on her head. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> on a day like this, so he's trying to get his driver's license and he has to get all these things together and he has to go somewhere. He has to be there on time. And she thinks it's very important this day to look her absolute best for who exactly? Who cares about all that when you're literally, you're literally trying to do something that's going to better your life and progress. Dylan is not looking at all this. He doesn't have time for that. He's trying to get his life on track. So relax. And it's so annoying that after she spent all that time getting ready, now he's in the car spending all this time getting ready again. Late. And I'm just so frustrated. Oh my. But it might be too late to test. She's driving, oh, but it might be too late to test. Why are you so calm about that? There's no apology. There's no sorry. There's no nothing. She's just very matter of fact about it. Oh yeah, but you might be late to test. That's not good. That's not good. If it is, I'm gonna be so mad. Not at you, at the fact that they don't do testing. They do. It, usually it's like they stop accepting like the uh -uh. I would be scared. In fact, I am scared. I'm scared of Heather. I'm actually scared of Heather. How can you flip out so quickly? Of course, he'll be mad. He'll be pissed. He'll be disappointed. He'll be sad because this is something that he really needs to do. Why are you like giving him the d whatever line stops for testing like two hours after they open? Her voice does not match her personality. I love her voice. It's raspy, it's calm, and then she starts going crazy and she starts shouting and screaming. Also, let's look at these heels. Where are you going, madam? Like, she has done everything to make sure that this guy does not go for this appointment. And I think she needs somebody like Dylan who really needs, eh? really needs support, really needs help. Maybe financially, I don't know. Right now it's accommodation. Needs a companion, needs somebody around, right? Because he doesn't know how the things of the world, you know, really work anymore after five years. So she's found somebody that she can just dominate. She can just dominate and she can just say, it's like this, it's like that, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. On my dime, on my time, on my rules, according to my rules. And so she's like, yeah, let me wear these big old heels for no reason, even though we have somewhere we gotta be quick we're late why not just put some sneakers on why not try to be fast now you're holding to him trying to walk straight what the heck hi he just got a present and he's got an id i don't know if we need to tell them that dylan is like i don't know if we need to tell them that part yeah i don't think you have to be going everywhere being like hi this is my boyfriend he just got out of prison hi that's my boyfriend he just got out of prison look at him he needs this because he just got out of prison he just got out of prison why don't you like i can i can sense that that would be something that you would leave out and then if they have to know you would you would say it but why like all these people are standing hi this is my boyfriend he just got out of prison for what reason no more tests were broken into the line because we were late 
now she's telling she's do, they're doing an interview with the producers and that yeah he couldn't get in a line because he was late and she's just like very very matter of fact now all this beauty and all this what what good is it like for what to do what because of makeup Makeup? Yes. You're just joking. No, it was not because of makeup. It was because of makeup. Look at his face. He's trying to get himself out of this hole. Oh my goodness, no. She, no, she's creepy. She's actually creepy. He's like, oh no, I better reverse that because she's gonna actually K L L me. Mm -hmm. Now he's looking at her like, is that is that good, is that a good enough answer? Will you now see that I'm joking? Um. They make sure to show her nails. They make sure to show all these things that make her eh, to show that she's high maintenance. Hmm. Let's just talk about the DMV. Put that behind us. Even the producer is just trying to calm the situation because he knows it's about to go down. Right. Put it, put it behind us. He's like, put. Put, put, put it behind us, like, don't, 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 don't trip. Just a joke. I'm gonna Let's wait in the car. Us. I'm gonna wait in the car. When you're done doing your interview, you can meet me there. No, I need a. They're like, no, 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 no. They're. <laughs> Just not get. Heather and I have never lived together, and we haven't spent that much time together. My prime example of the shacking up business and how it ruins your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen. The shack and our business will ruin your life. Oh, let me tell you and tell you again. These people did not know each other. This is it. You did not know that little things like this let her tick. Hmm? If you had spent some time to really get to know her in the real world and all this stuff and taking it easy like everybody should, you would have known that little things tick off and you would have been gone ages ago. But, you know. Outside of prison and Heather's being completely irrational. It, I hate when you do that, like it's such a condescending way. So at no point are you going to apologize for making this man late. At no point. You're just going to walk around and, and try and shift the blame on somebody else. Okay. I've had plenty of girlfriends that are high maintenance, but this is like next level. How's her? Hold on. Wait a second. Give me my keys, please. Who has her keys? Okay, it was a hilarious joke. Hilarious. Heather. Excuse me, guys. I'm trying to open the door. The door is still locked. The door is not locked! Shh. See what I said about her having a nice voice? Not now. She's not gonna stay. She's 100% gonna leave. I have to listen. The producer's is like, that's fine with me. Meaning, she could leave. And you can stay and do the interview. They need footage, okay? Although this is some good footage here. It makes for good television, but it's horrible. I'm actually happy that these producers are not like, no, this is great. Let's just see this unfold. Let's just see this drama unfold. Let's not stick to the script. Let's push aside all the questions that we wanted to ask. Let's just go with this. This is great. Like how they did um, mm, Tamar Get Your Life. Oh my gosh, that was horrible. They showed all the behind the scenes. Everything to make everybody look ugly. That's what these people don't want to do. They want to stay, stick to the script and they want to ask the important questions. But the fact of the matter is, baby, <laughs> Heather wants to go. So the way the producer is like, that's fine with me. It makes me think that the producer would have had, they will have their cars. They will be able to take him back to on Diane's house, no problem. But Dylan over here is scared. He's like, I better sit in this car before she finishes me for real, for real. I gotta go. Yeah, we can talk, but I gotta get in the car. Bye. Have a nice day. I'm not uh, doing it. Get up. Get up. Get up. You can, can get up. Get up. Can I just sit down go. and chill go. for a second? Get go. my yes, bearings go. together? Exactly. He needs to get his bearings together. Like, now that this has happened at the DMV situation, like, what, what happens now? He needs to figure all that out. He needs to be, you know, chill and relax and everything. But she's just giving him stress. I'm sure he's more stressed out now than he was in prison. I'm sure. Do what you gotta do. Go. Go. Heather. The Dylan. She's at her eyes. Heather, what are you taking? What are you doing? Who hurt you so bad? Who made you go who who? It's not normal. 
it's it's not normal. The that I was so comfortable with over the phone in person is super judgy. He said you were late because of makeup, and that was the truth. How is that being judgy? This Where is we not going? for me. Because we're making. It's not for you. Bye. Making it harder than it has to be. Right? Really? Look at Dylan. Who, who? Not looking at his background, but just looking at his physique and all that, and his mannerisms right now. I don't know how he's been in the past, but right now, a lot of girls would like them some Dylan. So if you want to bounce, bounce. He ain't got no problem. We're, go. We're, We're making go. it harder than it has to be. Why should? I? We're making it harder than it has to be. We when have you when have you last ever spoken to anybody like this? Clench your teeth and say stuff because you're angry. They don't even do that on the bold and the beauty for any of these dramatic soap operas. Yes, where are you oh, always the part? I'm gonna take off my mic. I'm gonna rip out the GoPros. Which you have to pay for if you break them. I hope. And I'll show you the way Dylan looked into the GoPro like, please, if anybody can see this, please help me. Well, how to make it hard. Heather, why are you? Get out! Like, I'm not doing it. You're a whole different person. I didn't I'm do anything. anything. You're right, you didn't do anything. Right, nothing wrong. Heather is not the same person that I was talking to when I was in prison. If Heather doesn't stop acting so crazy, I don't know what's going to happen. This is a side of Heather I've never seen before. Slow the car down. Here, Michael. She wants the mic off. She wants no evidence of what she's going to do to him. I don't know where she's going. I'm scared. I'm scared for him. Yo. But the fact that they're doing the confessionals after means everybody's well, is well and alive. Wild. Wild. If you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit the thumbs down. As well as the subscribe button, comment because I really want to know what you think. Like because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell while you're at it. I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Daily videos are in here. Not only love after lockup, but also other videos. This is a lifestyle channel. In the meantime, make time for glorious life. It's time to start what? Living it right. God bless. Mm -hmm.